Hi, Delusion Dispeller back to talk more on Proverbs 20. And we ended up on verse 17. We're going to verse 19 next. Again, in the King James, I will be reading. And that says, He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Therefore, meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Flattery. Flattery is where the narcissist grabs you in the idealization phase and says, Oh, you're just like perfect for this job. Or you have the most beautiful voice. Won't you come and join my ministry? Or you're my best friend ever. I never was able to open up with anybody like I can open up with you. Again, borderlines do this too. Flattery. And what it is, is it's their engrandizing you to draw you into their web so that you will think they are like the most awesome person and just be in awe of them and bowing at their feet practically and just totally infatuated with them before they take off their mask and you realize what's under there. So yeah, flattery. You gotta avoid that. Don't meddle with them, it says. Don't get involved. Stay away. If somebody starts pouring out all kinds of drippy praises on you, run as fast as you can the other way. Find the door, um, find the hole of the cave you're in, whatever you have to do, but get away from them. All right, verse 20, again from the King James Version. I promise you will be reading more from the Amplified too. Verse 20, whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Now, we've talked about narcissistic Egg donors, sperm donors. I don't feel that I'm cursing a mother and father by calling them that because they're not really a mother and a father to begin with. They don't even deserve to have the title. Just because you spawn a child does not therefore make you a parent because there are things that the Lord detests and hates in the Bible. And I think some of the types of so-called parenting techniques could come in line with those things that the Lord hates. So, he does say, however, not to curse your parents. That means don't go around, you know, just purposely being mean to them or um, judging them unfairly and that kind of stuff. I do believe that that's what that's talking about. I don't believe that um, no contact or low contact of a parent that isn't being a parent is what this is talking about. Just, you know, watch your attitude and your motive with your parents. You can't just go around bad-mouthing them just because you want to be a jerk. So that that would be definitely judged by the Lord. I wanted you to see this beautiful cat. If I, if I can lower this down so you can see his beautiful face. There he is. Hi, Choo Choo. Yeah, my pretty kitty. This is Chewy. Or some people call them fall in. Um, fuzz Fuzz Squeak. That would be my husband's name for him. But he's our beautiful new addition. We're hoping to get one more kitty soon. We don't have Morgan the dog anymore. She found a home finally, as she deserved. It's just too small in here for her and just too much for everybody to deal with. All right. Anyways, um, where am I at? So you don't want to curse your parents, definitely. Don't be mean to them or, you know, that kind of thing. But you also don't have to put up with um, being abused by them. I'm not talking about, you know, just let them treat you however they want. You can't do that either. All right. Um, verse 21 is the next verse. And that one we're reading in both the King James and the Amplified. If the kitty cat will let me have my King James back. Can I have my Bible, please, buddy? Thank you. Thank you, kitty, kitty. All right. Verse 20. King James, who, uh, I already read 20, sorry, 21. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. And then the Amplified says, A bonanza at the beginning is no guarantee of blessing at the end. Now, this again can talk about idealization. That is what the narcissist does. Promises you the sun, moon, and stars. Promises you a position. Promises you a high rank. Promises you to be their bestest little buddy. Or their co-partner. Or their co-minister. Or whatever. Um, and in the end, it's not going to end up being the bonanza and exciting thing they paint it to be. You'll find out 
the hard way, unfortunately, you'll understand exactly what's going on in the end that it isn't everything they cracked it up to be. All right. So let's uh, conclude this here. Eyes wide open moving forward and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, comments, please put them down below, down there in the comments section or write me at delusiondispeller at gmail.com. I will be right back with the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.